it's recording. Okay, we ready? Yeah. I have no thoughts in my head right now, so. Perfect. Just hit a button, Morty. Give me a beat. Oh, man. Okay. All right. Um... We choose to go to the moon. You son of a bitch. I'm in. What's your name? That's Joey. Hey, how you doing? <laughs> Good morning, Angel. What was said was for you and for you alone. And don't worry about the days. What days? Did I do that? Okay, we're here another Hi. week. Welcome back to the second episode of the Joey and Angel, Angel and Joey It's the podcast. Angel and Joey show. You know, I don't like saying my name that much, I don't think. You know, it's, it's a pretty boring name, so... Um, I forget about it. <laughs> I mean, it's a little basic, I guess. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's five letters. Terrible. I mean, mine's only got four. I, oh, yeah. I mean, but I do have a longer version. Yeah. I'm like, <laughs> Some people are the do, just nickname. Do you have a nickname that people call you? Like, it I'll call is. you Angel instead. Yeah. Um, I, in <laughs> in high school, I tried to make Legna a thing because it's my name backwards. And I know. You're it's, a weird person. I am, and uh, I've known that for a very long time. Fun fact, in uh, seventh grade, I walked around the entire school year with a green trench coat. You know, I said, <laughs> tell me a story that sounds made up. Oh, and oh, that sounds perfect. That's yeah. you, A green? A green trench coat. Every uh, day? Every day. What grade was this? Seventh? Seventh grade. So every day. Yeah. And I remember vividly thinking, I love this trench coat. I want to wear it. And I had a little bit of the jitters, you know, before society tells you to be normal and stuff. Um, and then I just wore it and I had a great time. And every lunch, uh, my friends would take the trench coat and pimp walk back to class. And it was the it was the highlight. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. Welcome. <laughs> well, that's more about Angel there. <laughs> yep. Good to know. <laughs> so how's 2021 going for you so far? Um, I think <laughs> it started off good. Started off a little fun. Okay. Now it's getting a little boring. It is boring, but I'm 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 here for the boring if it's not uh the new strain of blah blah blah, the new wasp, the new thing in town coming to kill and destroy us that's true so it's perspective you know some people didn't have a bad 2020 some people are like you know it was bad for the world but it was good for me and kudos to you because dang <laughs> are you still paying attention to politics like ever since trumpy boy is gone honestly Donnie T. <laughs> honestly i never was big on politics you get your news from twitter I used to get my news from Twitter, but then... Better you know, than Facebook. Oh, heck no. Facebook is... Uh, it's just... Uh, okay, no worries for Facebook. Anyway, um, I now follow some people on TikTok that are like legit reporters. So I get small condensed pieces of um, just like the national news. Nothing real specific to our state. Um, but... Uh, a little bit, a little bit more. I don't really care about that Oompa Loompa. I never have. I never watched the news for him because how many times does this man have to, have to convince, you, like, to convince you that he is not working in your favor? How Absolutely. many times? Because I was convinced a long time ago. <laughs> I want to go back to what you said about watching TikTok because I'm a big proponent that you can learn anything you want on the internet. Yeah, yeah, YouTube, absolutely. TikTok. Maybe that's pretty much maybe Instagram. I can learn like cooking stuff on Instagram. They have short videos. You have to dive more in um, on Instagram. But TikTok is like it's like Google threw up. Yeah. And you just got all of the all of the random information, which I appreciate. <laughs> so you can learn. I was learning sign language on TikTok. My mm -hmm. mom's like, where'd you learn sign language? I was like, TikTok. Mm -hmm. She started laughing. Like, what do you mean? I can learn anything I want it's, on TikTok or YouTube. I don't need school. Exactly. And that's like that old mentality that's like, oh, the internet, that new and upcoming thing, you can't do anything with that uh, digital all. encyclopedia. Like, what the heck? We're in 2021. I can do it all on on YouTube. Anything yeah. I want to know, I can do it on YouTube. That is true. Because they don't teach you nothing in school, which is one thing you put up. What's something 
they you wish they taught you before you graduated high school? Honestly, you know, I feel like most of the classes uh, weren't aren't beneficial long term. I think when you're trying to educate kids that are learning and trying to learn about the world, none of that matters. The algebra doesn't matter. The calculus doesn't matter. You know, the history sort of matters if you want to like reflect upon. If you want to teach the uh, right history. Yeah. If yeah, exactly. And most of the time, it is irrelevant you know um but if we learned out how to how to do our fa- finances like the rich people do i feel like that's the only thing you need to learn exactly like if you know your finances not you're knowing a little bit of business but yeah because we are middle class i was poor uh, um <laughs> so we were in the higher tier schools where they teach those ec- extracurriculars so we got the short end of the stick for on purpose so that sucks. What'd you wish? Taxes. Oh. I hate taxes. You know what boggles me? Also from TikTok, finding out that other states, other countries don't pay taxes. They just, uh, I think they just get a bill from their government or something like that. And they don't have to like do all the things to not accidentally break the law and end up owing $50,000. That's fair. That's that's my fear, like accidentally making one little error and maybe a maybe just the decimals in the wrong place, and then I'm screwed. Straight to jail. Just like Shakira. No, she didn't go to jail, but she had like a fourteen Shakira million. Went to jail? She didn't go to jail, but she I uh, she had a fourteen million dollar tax fine or something like that. Because I don't know. That's I don't a know lot of money. How you're rich and you have people hired, and you still fail. You still. That's a big amount. And she just paid it all like that because, like, she was called out for it and she didn't realize, I apparently. Wish. I wish I had the money. My God. All right. What else we got on here? Ted Cruz? Sucks. Everyone's ripping on Ted Cruz this week. Sucks. Oh. And I love it. Yes. And I want to join the party. I think. I Don't quote me on this, but maybe just Google it. If you type in small pen, smallestpenis.com, it'll go straight to his Twitter. Straight there. We're going to test it. If I get a Russian virus, <laughs> you get me a new computer. Dang. Oh. It, okay, it was also on TikTok. Mm. So I don't, I probably can't don't trust have the... Ev- can't trust everything know, on the I know, I know. Most things. But it was probably uh, taken down because it was like a couple days ago. But it was very satisfying to see it go directly to his Twitter. Have you seen... So obviously there was the massive snowstorm in mm-hmm. Texas. Yeah. And he fled to Cancun. Yeah. And I didn't he say like I gotta protect my kids and blah blah blah. So what the heck you what what are, what are these guys but doing? <laughs> then he gets called out and comes back. And have you seen the picture of him coming back? I have not, but I know he was bullied into it. Is that it? This is him coming back to the airport with like, his, with his Texas mask he on. He looks so sad. He's like, I am trying. I'm trying guys, I'm sorry. But I'm here. I also planned on getting my tan on in Cancun. <laughs> <laughs> but devil's advocate for Ted Cruz. Uh, okay. What was he going to do if he stayed? How is he going to? I mean, he does I all mean, his work from home, it's probably. About image. You're a politician. Like, if, if Olivia Pope taught us anything, is that the, the the image is everything. And if you can't, if you can't even uh, cancel one. That's what he's trying to work on, his tan, so he looks better <laughs> than this pasty white ghost. Fair enough. But, sir... Get it together. You can't just, you, it's, it takes two seconds to cancel a trip. I don't care about your kids' expectations. What about the state of oh, Texas? Oh, you think the trip was planned in advance? I'm, he already had a trip to Cancun planned? Yeah. It was it, was it not? I don't know. I'm I, assuming it was a last minute maybe, trip. Maybe I was giving him the benefit of the doubt by assuming that it was pre planned. He was just like, I got to use my airline miles or something because he was in coach. Like, I saw that plane. There was he other was people. In, like, you are, you. Dingus, <laughs> what are you doing? Uh, it's sad when you can't even get first class. You're a politician, yeah. you can't even get first Find class. Find a jet. You ain't got friends? He got friends. I mean, he probably doesn't have that much money. I mean, look at him. He looks all sad. He doesn't look like he got <laughs> money. <laughs> Insert picture here. <laughs> he looks very sad. Yeah. Um. Oh, I hate looking at him. I don't like looking at men like that because they always look a little bit melted. And then AOC was out in his hometown yes. giving out turkeys. Didn't she and like whatnot? raise like two million dollars? So much money. Like good for her. Good for those people. I don't really like her, 
but I think she's smart. Yeah. And I think what she did was Absolutely. smart. Absolutely. I feel like it makes him just look even worse. That's what her her job is. She's a representative. She's supposed to be supporting the people. I mean, I'm not going to I'm not going to try and idealize any celebrity or politician, but you know, good kudos for her. Yeah. Kudos for she her. all right sometimes. <laughs> What else we got? Mm, I went to a restaurant. Um, dot, dot, dot. Sunday? Saturday. Went to a restaurant Ooh. on Saturday. It was a nice outside place. Okay. Have you been to a restaurant? When's I the last not. time you were at a restaurant? Ooh, a restaurant. Not like just you, out? Not just out. Like you went to a place and sat in there or like, I guess not a restaurant specific, like museum oh you know what it was probably uh, if you're not considering this a restaurant or if you're gonna consider this a restaurant extreme action park we sat there at midnight eating empanadas what extreme action park you just went there and ate empanadas no you were there that that last time we went when i did not get my laser tag worth you still got that laser tag they 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 know how to take their money. After a year, that thing is gone. At and what, I wasn't going back. At what age do you have to stop playing laser tag? At no age. It's great. Uh, Never. Cardio. Never grow up. Never. Stay stay 17 forever. <laughs> maybe maybe say 22. Okay. 22 is my number. But uh, 17 sounds boring. Like, mm. you're still confused about a lot of things. Mm, but 22 sounds like, I'm trying. <laughs> I'm trying at this thing. I don't know how, but I'm trying. That's all we can do is try. Oh, this dog. Okay. Um, <laughs> yeah, so the restaurant was outside. We sat outside. Nice big table. I didn't want to touch the table very much because, yeah. you know, but I did. You got to bring your, your stack of wet wipes. I got wet wipes in my car. And my little hand sanitizer I clipped to my little. That's not good thing. enough. Never enough. You so uh, did offer me wet wipes the other day, mm-hmm. and then I thought about it as I was sitting in my car. I was like, gosh. I wish I had taken those white wipes. <laughs> could really use a couple yeah. of those right now. Yes. Was it a good experience? Like, how was the atmosphere different? I mean, the tables were spread out. Maybe. I didn't go. I think they had inside seating. We sat outside. So mm-hmm. when, anything outside, I'm like, I don't care. This is fine. Yeah. You can, nothing's <laughs> going to get me outside. Yeah. I'm not trapped yes. inside. Although... One, I like, uh, like maybe a week ago, I just drove down the beach and there were so many people. And I'm just thinking like, you know, I know you, like everybody's outside, but there's too many of you in clusters. Mm, yeah. That but makes me nervous. I have been to the beach and someone will sit nearby. And I'm like, mm. get the heck away from me. Over Leave here. Please, I don't know where you have been. Exactly. Stay away yeah. from me. And I, and I think like some people have different levels of uh, awareness of like pandemic, personal space. Some people just don't care. Yeah. We meet them every day at work. That's true. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So at the restaurant, it was my friend's 21st birthday. Hey. So it was like, your 21st is my 21st. <laughs> 21 shots down. <laughs> so I had... I experimented with some drinks there. I had an Irish, what was it? It was like an Irish coffee. No, it was espresso martini. Oh. And it was so good. Ooh. It had, I don't know what kind, maybe like whiskey or something and Kahlua and. I don't know espresso. what Kahlua is. I don't know. What is it a leaf? I have a zero idea. I'm, I, I could, I could say Google it, but I like just not knowing. Kahlua. Is that, it, mm, is that a syrup? Yeah, but I th- it's like a sweet liquor, I think. Oh, it could be like a caramelized something. One of my friends on Instagram I, I like caramelized is like oranges, orange peels or something. Um, and they're really satisfying to look at. Kahlua. Keep Kahlua. talking while I, I don't look even at know this. how to spell Kahlua, to be honest with you. Do you ever think about the words that you have said and you know what they look like but have <laughs> never spelled? <laughs> Every once in a while, there's a word that I'm like, oh. Oh, wow. I've never spelled you before. I, I need an example. <laughs> it, I, <laughs> I don't know. Um, mm, it'd have to be a big word. Definitely. No, I hate trying to spell that. Define. I, I literally have to say definitely. Yeah. 
and that's how I spell it right. And I don't remember which order when I'm Spelling's not doing Spelling's hard. That. Maybe they should teach that in school. <laughs> Maybe they did. I just didn't you know pay what? attention. Honestly, as much as that is embarrassing to not be able to spell, there are so many tools to help you. So I'm not sure if that's like high on the list. I'm a little sad that they don't teach cursive anymore, though. No one writes. I know, but it's like it's like. I mean, I write. I like pen and paper. Yeah, I do too. And I Maybe write. Maybe that's in, just because we're old now. I think it's like something something different about like pen and paper. You like getting everything out. You can have like write super hard when you're like concentrating. You, I have like and get fancy pens. I have, yes, love fancy pens. Although my handwriting, I have like five different handwriting t- styles, like fonts, and. It, uh, it can vary with the pen. It can vary with the mood. It can vary with the subject. It's like you're in Times New Roman. Then you switch yes. to Helltivica. Yes. I, yeah. I the, have what's like, the one that just makes symbols? The wing, wing something? Um, I don't know. I know what you're talking about, though. But I don't know. I feel like dumb when I write sometimes. Like when I used to turn in papers because it would change. as I, From the top, it would be super neat. And then it would go slam. And then at the end, when you, you ran out of... Did you have lines? You couldn't write on a straight line? <laughs> no. Like, it'll be a, italicized, basically. Because when you get to the edge of the paper, you have less room. Was that just your mood? Like, depending I, on your mood? You know, there's people who, like, yeah. analyze handwriting. Like, they'll look yes. at how you wrote, and, and they'll I, be like, oh, this person was angry today. Yeah, but I, I always used to think, like, what would they imagine? Like, how, what would they think I'm going through from first paragraph to third paragraph on the same page? You should have <laughs> seen my handwriting at work on Saturday after those espresso martinis. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I at was work? so hung over ah! <laughs> midday <laughs> that at the end of the day, I was like, all right, we just got to book through these things, and I'm writing, and I'm just like, that's... <laughs> this is so hard. And then I came home. We had a work call. Oh. Falling asleep during <laughs> it and laying in my bed, pitch black dark, because I'm like, <laughs> I don't want it, anything. Then I fall asleep at like seven. I woke up at about 12 a.m., maybe two. Okay. It was between 12 <laughs> and two. And then I was up until like six. Oh. Because my sleeping was, I had done most of my oh. sleeping for the day. So then I was up till six. Then I went to bed for Are like another couple normal? hours. Are you back to normal? Are you back to your normal? I don't know. I got up at like nine today. I don't know what time I, I went to sleep. Oh. Well, you, you'll get back to it. You got work tomorrow. You're fine. You'll be okay. Okay. Pause. And we're back. Wait, let me just double check. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> and we're back. Okay. Next up. They don't know that we were gone. That you. you, you they do away. now. Okay. What were we talking about? Um, sugar daddies. Sugar daddies. Now, let me just say, I wish I had the strength and the confidence to be a sex worker. I, the power. Them only fans we will be making. The bank. power. Bank. I follow a few uh, sex workers, men and women alike, and they're just like, they are just seem to be having a great time. You know, obviously still having like crisis Crises, crises, but they live in a nice houses. Was the crisis of not being able to get a normal job because everyone's seen all of you? Mm, no, I follow one. Um, should I say her name? I like her. She's a therapist too, bachelor's degree. Right. Yes, she graduated with her bachelor's. She definitely goes to a therapist herself. Yes, probably. absolutely, as you should. Most I, therapists do go to another therapist. And if and she said if you go to a therapist and that therapist does not have a therapist, then you need to stop going to that therapist. That sounded like a joke, but it wasn't. <laughs> How? But like, if you go to a therapist who goes to another therapist, mm-hmm. shouldn't you just go to that other therapist? But no, then you be- just have to climb the ladder until you find one who's like sane. There's and no god therapist. There's no perfect therapist, but you need a therapist that is able to, I think, work through their own crap, um, and be able to have somebody to talk it out to for sure. But just get a dog. Just talk to your dog. No, because then you feel crazy, and then your dog can't lead you to steps to recovering from whatever crazy oh, you're suffering from. Well, your dog doesn't talk back to you? I ain't got no dog. My dog talks back. I ain't got no dog. I have full conversations. I talk to myself. His eyes tell me everything. Well, I that's just my, crazy. No, 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 because I, I give good advice to people, so I have to try and be objective like Elmo. Elmo. <laughs> <laughs> I, 
I used to be able to do voices, but that's beyond. That's something else. Okay. But uh, what were we talking? Sugar, sugar daddies. Dad. Um. So, there was a friend at the restaurant who, been who has a sugar daddy. Yeah. Millionaire. <gasps> Ooh, and don't talk about Domino's. Picked up. <laughs> you don't know <laughs> what this means. I'm getting but... there. I'm getting there. God. Pick, picked up the whole check. I was like, okay, I gotta go soon. So can you bring me my receipt? And he never brings it. And I'm looking at him. I'm like, he keeps walking by and stuff. Yeah. And she's like, oh, don't worry. I paid the whole check already. I was like, what? Heck yeah. She's like, I got that credit card from the man. That black card, that thick old, you know, yep. that thing is like a little difficult to get through the card swipe. Like I've seen somebody do it. I've never had the privilege to. I've touched to it. Wow. I've touched it. Did your hand turn gold? I wish I would have chopped that finger off so quick. <laughs> Chop it and sell it. Yeah. So Midas touch. <laughs> I was like, wow. And, you know, I'm always trying to help. I can't get one. <laughs> you can. I already have. You can. One. You need to have an t- honest conversation and make it work. But there's a guy who comes into work. <laughs> Very attractive. Tall. Yes. Toned. Yes. Very nice gentleman. He's a talker. He is a talker, but he seems nice and friendly. Yes. And he loves talking to you. <laughs> he owns all the dominoes in Mississippi. <laughs> How do you or know mi- that? Or Missouri. He did. Did he say that? He has told us this before because his dad owned a bunch and then he bought up more and uh-huh. now they own all of them in Mississippi and Missouri. Okay. So he's got money. So he got money. And he likes talking to you already. So what are you doing? Go get that money. I, like I said at the very beginning of the sugar daddy conversation, I am not in the category of being enough, enough, ready, ready enough. But he doesn't have to be like a sugar daddy. I mean, he will but I be. Don't, I wouldn't even know. Like, I, I just, I just start to sweat. <laughs> okay. What am I supposed to do with that? What would you expect me to do aside from go to the back and fan off? Because <laughs> he's so high. He's just like, oh, I guess I can't. I, I, I can't talk. Uh, and I. Well, I that's the good thing. Get, uh, he does all the talking. No, and I don't he like likes that. To talk. I, I don't like that. Um, he talks too much. Yeah, okay. And also, let's give some backstory. You started at our store, like, what, two years ago, a year and a half ago or something mm-hmm, like that? Yeah. He's been coming to that store for four years. Mm-hmm. Four years. Yeah. And what Time's are you a ticking. For? Time's you could have been out. Uh, he's about 30 plus years old, okay? I, I'm not, I don't care about age, but he, he's, he knows. You're basically 30 plus <laughs> mentally. <laughs> but, the whole point of the show. But he should be able to, if he wants something, he should be able to ask for it. Like, I'm very much like, just tell me, be honest, be communi- like communicate with me. He came in one day. You're walking out <laughs> the back. You see him. You instantly turned around. You were like, I'm out. And I know he saw it. And I. So now I have to try and set him up with someone else <laughs> that we Please know do. so that we can get that money because. Like your 21st is my 21st. Mm-hmm. Your privilege becomes my privilege. Because yes. <laughs> I will feed off of <laughs> that you. That is fine. That is fine. If I had it, we could we eat together. <laughs> yes. Yes. But Pick up uh, my checks. Uh, I get very, I'm a nervous person. And so that is not on my radar currently. But there, there are websites for that, you know. There I would start at the feet. Websites. I would start at the feet, y'all. Like, mm-hmm. how. I feel like it's got to be a ratio for age to money. So, like, if you're 70, you got to have, like, a billion dollars. If you're 30, a couple million will suffice. Well, I feel like I'm not I'm not a greedy person. So, uh, you know, a solid millionaire or, uh, you know, six figures. Million can go real fast depending on how you spend it. That is true. Um, but, you know, obviously the second category would be are you dumb? <laughs> you know, and if. And if you're not, you then we're How on a can track. You be dumb and have millions. I mean, you're probably smart. There's in some so s- many people that are dumb with millions. There's so many. They can be dumb in like that's the legacy. I 
Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, and also like, what are we gonna talk about? Because I've I I used to think this all the time. I was like, you know, I've had a lot of conversations with this friend. What are we gonna talk about now? And you know, I don't know what the answer was. <laughs> I don't know what the answer was, but you have to have like a certain a level of like relatability, you know? Yeah. And I don't know what he was talking about. He was talking about restaurants. I don't go out. I don't know. All I heard is I own all the Domino's in Missouri. And I say, okay. Yeah, I did. I do remember your reaction. You're like, oh. Oh, oh yeah. Tell me more about yourself. And here I was just continuing to work. Also. Until he said that, didn't care also, about him at all. Yeah, I, I, I recognize I a, that. I am a gold digger. <laughs> but also, I don't like getting trapped at work because That's nine times out of ten, I am stressed because of the amount of things that I have to do and trying to do them all and trying to wrangle these baristas. Has anyone ever given you their phone number while you're working? Um, No. However, there was an older round gentleman. Um, um, Imagine a big Mr. Monopoly. Okay. Um, And he was like, oh, I like... I like black girls and uh and I felt trapped and he was like talking about his buddies and blowjobs and blah 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 and he's like I don't do that I don't talk like that but they were talking about blowjobs and blah 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 at work yes and it was when our old manager was there and I felt trapped and I didn't like that and didn't appreciate it but I was just like nodding along it's like haha you know, I don't like getting trapped at work. Um, I was like, sir, I got to go. Yeah, and um, obviously it was a fetish because he was he was only talking to um, the melanated queens, <laughs> the job at that time. But uh, I don't like it. Uh, I don't like getting trapped in any situation, honestly. This guy gave me his phone number at work once, and it was so uncomfortable. I was like, what is this? Why are you, why are you handing me is this? Is this to the local cab company? <laughs> You think I need a ride home? And I was like, <laughs> okay. And then I just threw it away. Yeah, I because it's like, you know I'm at work. Like, you're not making any effort One, to... One, I'm at work, not the place. Yeah. That's I'm not, not where I want to... Two, I mindset. already got someone. I don't need to tell you that. I Period. just throw it away. Period. Sorry. Yeah. Not sorry. Not really. Get it together, y'all. And then he'd come back in and try and talk to me. I'd be like, nope, hiding in the back. Who was it? Do I know them? No. Okay. Is that another story? Okay. And then. I just think it's tone deaf because I don't know. Th- maybe that's the way that some people operate. Like they're like, oh. It takes I, a lot of confidence. It just sure does. Your shot like that. Or just a lot of audacity. Um, <laughs> it's a thin line. It's yeah, a very thin it, line. Yeah, it's a flip flop. Um, but I just feel like you got to know a person a little bit more. Be friends. Also. Those people, those men that will be like, you want a friend? You don't need no friends? I just want to be a friend. What the heck? No. Uh, I'm nice to a lot of people that come in. Yeah. So it does shoot me in yes. the foot sometimes. Yes. I mean, because you're welcoming. And mm. I I am welcoming in a small. It's all fake, though. Control. It's all a facade. I know. I but, don't want to talk to these people. There's some people know? I'll t- want to talk to, but most of them just like. Yeah. What's going on? How you doing? Okay. That's Lately, it. Lately, I've just unconsciously me. just been walking right out. Like, I'm talking to the barista, yada, yada, cleaning something, hear the door, say hello, and walk away. <laughs> walk away until the order is done or they're in the middle of it so that I'm not, because I don't know, it feels a little bit like an extra pressure to just be performative. And uh, 2020 taught me that I don't really care about all that. At the end of the day, my friendly meter is zero. By yeah. the time I get home, I'm like, don't talk to me. Mm-hmm. I've talked to enough people. Yeah. 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 There's no refreshing that. There's no, no coming back. From no, I need a, I need a full sleep and maybe. That's why I don't understand. Off. Like we have a few new um, partners at our store or whatever, and they're great. But I don't understand how you're going to keep at that level because the customer service voice where you're always your ch- ch- uh, chipper and you're just like all there you can't i can't do that for seven hours i can't do that for eight hours and i'm not gonna try i need to be at a middle ground i need to be there's like dead middle ground and there's being like super chipper and uh it's it's a lot can't do it 
you gotta sustain, and it burns you out too. Did we ever finish Sugar Daddies? I don't care. Oh, Sugar Daddies. Um, yeah or nay? Um, go get that money. Be safe. Be um, put your foot down. And boundaries are important if you're trying to get a sugar daddy. But if you are a sugar daddy, hello. If you're the sugar baby, <laughs> I feel like you have none of the power in the relationship. No, you have all of the power because they got money. They can get whoever they want. They, they lucky. Get whoever they, they want. chose you. That is true. But you still have to be like very commanding because it's like it's like i don't know it's a game a little bit because if they want somebody submissive they could find any old person over there and just marry them and not have to go through the extra privileges i'm sure there are sugar babies that are the side piece to a marriage but you still got to set boundaries and still got to be like this is what i want and i'm gonna do this for you you know like every relationship is give and take mm whether it's monetary or not. I think that's from Westworld. <laughs> from uh, Maeve. Any Westworld friend, fans? I guess that's fair. <laughs> Next topic. Um, which one do I want to do? What's the worst musical, like, in your opinion? Like, I know you don't like La La Land, which uh, I uh, will. That's, that's something else. I made it, like, ten minutes into that movie and I turned it off. It's good it's like very made it past cinematic the opening song and then watched like five minutes and i was like all right get me out of this is it because it's like more cinematic more of a movie with music or no, it was boring white people Ooh, that is a take i didn't like them yeah i didn't care about them at all you know i feel like i like la la land but i like i'm i'm easy to please though i'm i'm very much if it there's not a lot of things that i don't like in cinema really but i liked it i also like the greatest showman a lot of people don't like it because it's like inaccurate and it's maybe too hollywood or what what have you i don't know mm. okay uh, scale of one to five where does la la land rank where does greatest showman rank on a scale of one to five like yeah five being the best how so la la land I, I can't mean, even rate it because I have not I mean, made it through the whole true. thing. So I give it zero rating. Greatest Showman. Three or four. You almost did. The three or four. Okay, I agree. Like, I know Hamilton's, like, super hyped. And it is when good. When it first came out, five stars. When it was brand new, no one was watching it and no one cared. I mean, oh. unless you were just, like, into that interesting theater stuff yeah five stars mm -hmm. it was brand new lynn and i love him he's just the best i think he's funny but then everyone else came in and i'm like guys this is old this is like years old now I and mean, you guys are just hyping this up now okay i feel like your after the hype rating is very fair because it is a good musical but it's not like it's not like the most amazing thing like but I guess I guess people. It was amazing at the time when yeah. it came out, and then it loses its I don't know potency. Yeah, for being Hamina. so good. <laughs> no, but um, I think it's also because like maybe a lot of people that weren't into those musicals and were like, oh, they're rapping in a musical, holy smokes, you know. But it is good, but it's not like. Yeah, but I still like his first one better, where which it, in the heights. I did not see Which that. Yeah. Movies coming out mm -hmm. on HBO Max. Soon, yeah. So that might get another wave of hype. Mm hmm For sure. Which that one I'm fine with because it's been like 10, 15 years since that was released. So it's really? been completely dead. Oh, okay. And now it can get revitalized. Okay, okay. But who was the uh controversial person attached to that movie? Because I know there was like somebody that was like the movie? There was like a one of the actors, I think one of the male actors, I'm not sure, but they were like don't don't ruin our movie because this guy was is terrible or whatever. I, but I don't I have no idea I who know. it is though. Oh, well maybe you could tell us yeah, down below on the comment section, not YouTube. Yeah, let me know. Or find us on Spotify and Apple. But iTunes. <laughs> did you see SNL? Do you watch SNL? I don't find SNL that funny, honestly. It most of the time, it's really not. It's not funny. I used to watch Mad TV and like, in Living Color, um, which I found much more funny, but. I watched like the, the little clips. You know Bobby Lee from Mad TV? 
the Asian the man. The little Asian. I yeah. love him. He's he, got this. He threw up on Hot Ones. Random. <laughs> I He threw up on Hot Ones, that YouTube show where they're eating hot wings. It's, go on. But I thought I'd just let the know. crowd know. You just said Mad TV, and I thought of Bobby because I watched Mad. his. His podcast that he does. <laughs> oh, yeah. And it's so funny. I need to so watch good. a little bit more. I watch only like three podcasts. Go on with SNL. What were you saying? Oh, yeah. Um, What's his name from Bridgerton was on? The Duke. The man. The uh-huh. Duke was on. What is his name? Duke. His name is Reggae Sean <laughs> something. Like R-E-G-E I did see dash that. Sean. I actually just missed like, the name of the character, but that I do, oh, I do love his name. Hastings or something like that. Duke they, of Hastings. Simon. Simon, there we go. Simon yes. Hastings, the Duke. <laughs> Real name, Regishon something. I love it. I love it. And I was like, what? I gotta. I think there's like a little accent ab- uh, above one of the vowels. What's his last name? Regishon Page. Regishon. Regishon. Do you, Reggae, is that how you say it? Regishon Page. Oh, I sort of like that. I mean, sounds he's like a. He's like, like British. <laughs> British Zimbabwean. Zimbabwe. Yeah. Okay. But it was pretty decent. Mm-hmm. I was normally I'm like he was okay. Funny? Yeah. I don't know. I normally don't... I'll watch and be like, okay, the skits are terrible. Yeah. But the person hosting is good. Yeah. But this Usually... time I actually enjoyed most of their skits. Okay. Okay. The only uh, the only things I could remember actually laughing out about. Is Family Feud. Oh, I love the Family Feud. Welcome to the Family Feud. He like says it's so funny. Keenan also has a new show I on Hulu. Know. Did I you did, watch it? I did not watch it because I don't have Hulu right now. Oh, but I, I definitely first wanted to support it because like he's been doing this forever. Like he's the one that deserves it. And also, uh, what it was on NBC, um, they did not promote that show well. Like I saw like one. The shows on NBC. I mean, I did see there's only one episode so far. Yeah, um, but they didn't promote it well. So I saw a lot of like support on TikTok again. Um, please sponsor us, TikTok. Yeah, it's but, about um, time Keenan gets another show. I know. Because Keenan yeah. and Mikel was, was the hilarious. best. It was so good. And like so many great people came out of that show. It was such a great theme song. Mm. We're going to get in theme songs at some point, but such a great all around show. All that. Mikel will be like, I love orange soda. Who loves orange soda? soda? I love <laughs> the best. And I would drink orange soda all the time. It was probably just a straight yeah. ad for orange soda. Absolutely. And but, it worked. But yes. You know, he like shows up on, like, I think he's on that show uh, Deliciousness right now. Never heard of it. Um, it's on MTV. I only know because of Timothy De La Ghetto or Tim Chong Tarangsu. Never heard of him. But, what, uh, what are these names you're saying? I know, but w- somebody knows. Somebody out there knows, or you might have seen him. But he always has orange soda on that show or behind the scenes, I believe. But it's like he- he's consistent. He still drinks it. But because Reggae Sean was on SNL and he was singing, and I was like, wow, he's really he, good. He was singing? Yeah, like really what good. What is that, a triple threat? What's the what's one? Yes. That's a double threat. What's it's his third? A double. I don't know. Being good looking? No, that's a different. I mean, I mean you're, that's a talent. That's, I mean, it's not. It's not. I mean, I mean, he probably has to work at it to stay fit. No. He wasn't that built in Bridgerton. Like, he was like. Yeah, but he could be a fat slob. Reasonable. I mean, but like some people have great metabolism. Okay, so he's a double threat, blah, blah, blah. blah. <laughs> <laughs> but they're doing Bridgerton the musical on TikTok. And yeah. I was like, he can actually play the character because yes. he was so Honestly, good. Honestly, I think, you know, you ever look at a person and be like, oh, I hope they can sing because they look pretty, you know? Mm-hmm. Like, I I don't feel like nobody, like anybody on that show can't sing. But I would like to find out. On Bridgerton? Yes. I want everybody to sing some Celine Dion song to, you know, it's properly gauging like the the singing levels because you, you got her, she's belting. And when I was from the wind, it was so cold. Oh, it's getting, if it's giving Kermit the frog, but that's okay. What else we got on here today? What? 
you're gonna have to edit it. I want to, but I think I need a new laptop because like it I goes don't hate so it. slow. I, I do, do enjoy the final product. It makes me feel accomplished. Yeah, yeah. But also you like, because I like being I just particular. hate the amount of time that it takes me when I don't know what I'm doing. I don't like the this, amount of time anything takes me sometimes. This like will be animating. This, oh, this will be the second time I do the video and sound together. Yeah. So it'll probably be easier. Than the and first you'll time probably cut corners because I have I figured out what I need We're to do most recording of right on the podcast. Okay, yeah. cool. Okay, perfect. Behind the scenes. Oh my gosh, just interrupt my story, why don't you? Sorry, I gotta think about production. Uh, okay, mm-hmm. final topic. I wrote, tell me a story that sounds made up. You did your trench coat one, and it is all facts. I wore it for the entire year, and um, and then so I just wrote three headlines called The Neighbor, Hell Week, and Wooden Spoon. I will let you pick which one. Did I just click? Just going to check the camera. I'm not going to stop recording, though. We're just going to keep going and blow right through it because I am not editing all this crap. My camera just turned off. It's going great here, guys. We're like high-scale production over here. Like, we got money. We we know exactly what we're doing. Is it on? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. Okay, if you say so. Because you heard it like literally. Yeah. Turn it off. I'm glad we heard it. It's on, but it's recording. Yeah. Okay, so they have about like a minute without the video. So you get to choose between the neighbor, Hell Week, and Wooden Spoon. Which story you want to hear? Oh, Hell Week's about. Okay. Okay. You don't um, know what any of these are about. Oh. The wooden spoon. The wooden spoon. Is it tiny? How big is the spoon? Is it one of the ornate can ones I that you can tell my Do I have to call this one? Can I tell my story again? <laughs> <laughs> no. Um, okay, so I used to work at this place called Jump Zone where they had like inflatables mm-hmm. and whatnot. And you, the kids would come in yeah. and bounce around on it. The place eventually closed, but that's not the story. <laughs> so, oh, the favorite part about this, side note, we used to clean the slides with pine saw. So it would make them extra slippery. So you'd be coming you? down and boom, no. you would take off. Kids would be flying and there would be like a wall there to like stop the kids oh my sometimes. But they just come flying off either onto the mat or just like smacking in the wall. The best. Or they'd not be trying y'all. to they would, not y'all injuring these they kids. They would be trying to climb the thing. Super slide. They'd be trying to climb the thing and they'd be oh. like, It was good. I would like to do that. It was good. I miss slides. Go for yeah. it. Okay, so the wooden spoon. Where um it was like one person per inflatable that you would watch and you mm-hmm. let the kids go up and down. So this kid's going up and his mom is shouting at him, Jonathan, it's time to go. Okay. Jonathan. And he's looking back like, Is it mom? <laughs> is I it? I don't think so. So he's climbing up the thing still. She's like, Jonathan, come on, we need to go. And he does not care. And then he looks back at her. At her purse, she pulls out a tiny wooden spoon. She's like, Jonathan, it's time to go. He goes, okay. That poor kid. What the heck? She just had the wooden spoon in her purse, ready to go at any time. You said, what? The, uh, wait, it was a regular-sized wooden spoon? It looked like the end handle had been like snapped in half so it was like half of a wooden spoon she's beating that child with the spoon yeah or maybe like jabbing him maybe he has like jab marks on his back you you yeah i got a beating as soon as they left oh my gosh like who just carries a wooden spoon around ready at the will who just traumatizes a child with a wooden spoon you know, stick to he's, traditional items he's like so a traumatized hanger. <laughs> that he knows as soon as he sees the wooden spoon, like it's on. You know what? That I feel like parents know how to traumatize because when I was younger, I only had like a couple whoopings, and mm. when I got when it was, the, <laughs> we'll get story. back to it. We'll get back to it. <laughs> when I was threatened with possibly getting another whooping, I would cry. I'd be like, "No, please." I got good. I got hit with the belt one time. That's right. Yeah, because 
She did it, and I laughed. <laughs> Why'd you laugh? I don't know. I'm a messed like, up child. <laughs> like, ooh, that's a different sensation. What <laughs> is that? She did it, and I laughed. Wow. I And it was just ooh. so ineffective that it just never happened again. I mean... <laughs> I mean, I don't know if that's I one was way just, to get out of if it. I'm just deranged or maybe I had planned it in my head or maybe it was just such a weak hit that I just laughed like that's the best I you got, lady. Don't. Oh, maybe maybe you need to track back and be like, how hard were you hitting? Were you was it a tap or was it a full arm? Maybe we'll call my mom next week and yes. see if I can find out yeah. what happened here. Or maybe I'm just making it all up in my head. Do you ever have stories that you think you remember? as a kid but then it's like is that real was that a dream did i make this up i have more really i had more realistic dreams when i was younger but i don't think there was anything that i that's the other topic i forgot to put on what's the craziest dream you've ever had i don't know the cr- ooh i or scariest 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 um long story short uh when i went to church my i was in the church parking lot with Scooby Doo and the gang and they were real life they were real. They were like, uh, who framed Roger Rabbit looking real? And we were hiding from something or someone between the cars. And I just remember the feeling of being nervous as heck. I don't think I was with the whole gang. I think I was just with um, Velma and Scooby or whatever. Mm-hmm. But I was terrified. What a choice of a squad. Yeah, right? Uh, I think the other was were like on the other side of the car. But I was trying like, you know... You, when you think of like trying to hide from like certain scenarios, like trying to uh, not be in the middle of the car, be where the tires are so they can't see your feet or see your shadow. What were you hiding from? I don't know. You were just hiding I, and scared? Uh, something was after us, and I don't know what it was. The, also, the scariest and most uh, uh, something dream, um, the earth exploded, and I felt it, and I was so, I felt it so much. I woke up crying because the earth was like, I could see everything. Like, I don't know. I think it was like a something meteor or something from inside, but the earth was gone. Everything was dying. Oh my gosh. And I could see everything from like outside perspective. So that was uh, unpleasant. Um, Hopefully it doesn't happen. When I take melatonin, (laughs) My dreams, like I get deep sleep real good. So my dreams usually are a bit like more vivid. And a couple weeks ago, I think it was, I had this dream where I was like at a new school. I was like in high school, Mm -hmm. at a new school. I'm being shown around the school and going to classes, blah, blah, blah. And then we go into this like building off to the side. Mm -hmm. It's got like glass windows around it. Mm-hmm. And then, like, a darker room in the middle. Yeah. And so the person showing me around was like, okay, I got to go in here. And it looks, and they open the door, and Obama walks out. And hey. he's, like, getting, they got, like, snacks. He's getting, like, tortilla chips and salsa. You just and chilling? Then I'm, yeah. And just, like, is that Obama? And then he just kept on walking by. <laughs> Don't worry about it. I wouldn't worry about it. And so the person showing me around, like, goes in this room. like, you wait here. I'll be back out in a minute. Opens the door. It looks like they're having like a CIA, NASA, NSA meeting in there, <laughs> like plot into. And Obama didn't need to be there for the rest of and it. Obama didn't. <laughs> I mean, not president no more. He don't oh, need yeah, to be there. That's true. That's true. So I'm waiting outside with one guy, and it's like a security guard guarding the door. Mm-hmm. And these two other guys come in, and I'm looking at them. I'm like, they don't belong here. They don't look they're like. Imposters? They don't look like they belong <laughs> here. And then. One of them starts talking about how they're drug dealers, and he's like playing with weed in his hand and whatnot. You're you're gesturing like it's a deck of cards. I mean, like he had a like nug like like, loose? like like loose weed. <laughs> like he had nugs of weed, and he was just like, "Huh, yeah, we sell a lot of this." Like it was like ground <laughs> up, and he's just like playing with it. Wow. And okay. I'm looking, and I'm like picking out my exits already because I know something's about to yeah, go I'm down. Ready to run. <laughs> and I'm walking. I see the door, and the other guy has a bag next to him. He's like sitting down on like a bench. He has a bag and he unzips the bag. I'm like, oh no, it's about to go down. I'm looking at the ah. exit. He pulls out 
a, a, one of them guns that like <laughs> a little tiny mini thing, mini oh. mini Uzis or something like that. I okay. think that's what they're called. Are you the, I don't think that's what it's called. <laughs> I don't know. He's pulling it out and he pulls out a little Uzi vert. <laughs> that's not what it's called. It's just what mini Uzi oh, made me think of. The image that came in my head. <laughs> So he pulls out this little gun, and I notice it, like, as he's pulling it out, and I start running out the door, and I'm screaming, and then I hear the shots, like, behind me, and I start screaming, active shooter, active <laughs> shooter, and I'm st- alerting everybody on the campus. They're all just, like, casually sitting down around and doing their stuff, and I'm running, active shooter, and then they all just start running, and it's mayhem. It's going crazy out there, and I'm running, and then they come out, and they just start lighting people up, left and right. They're lighting them up. And so I'm running and I'm about to turn down this one way to get to like where the dorm area is to like hide in a room and two more guys come out with chainsaws and they start chopping people up in half and I'm like trying to turn and run faster and now I'm just doing this slow run (laughs) where I can't run anymore. I feel like I'm running either in like quicksand or like in a pool. And I'm just like, uh, I got to go, but I can't go anywhere because I can't move. And then I woke myself up because I was like, hold on. I'm not running right. Get out of this. Literally, I've never had an intricate dream like that. I don't think I have. What the heck is going <laughs> on? Why? What, what? 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 I don't know. Someone analyzed my dream. Also, um, do you know why chainsaws were invented? Why? Kill us? Because uh, it was easier for the doctors to uh, get the baby out. And that's all we have time for today. Thanks for joining us <laughs> on the Angel and Joy podcast. Thanks, Roll it! Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and follow us and do all the you know the stuff, comment yeah. and whatnot. Bye. Oh my gosh, I'm traumatized.